For this video, we are going to use this file, the symmetrical heart shape, and I'm going to just click on it and drag and drop it into Photoshop. So we already know how to draw curves, straight lines, and even complex shapes, but drawing symmetrical shapes is another challenge. So let me show you how it is easiest to create something like this and any type of symmetrical shapes. First of all, it's always good to add a guide for the center line. So if I go to view and I choose rulers or command R, control R on PC, you can uh, have the rulers and clicking on the vertical ruler, you can drag out a vertical guide. I am going to drag and drop this in the center line of the heart shape and I'm going to reduce uh, the opacity of this heart shape something like that again just to trace it over I am going to select the pen tool zoom a little bit closer maybe I just move the heart a little tiny bit to the left so I have the pen tool and I am going to draw only one side so I click here at the bottom and then I click where the curve changes direction so I can see it goes that way and then it turns the other way so that would be a good point to add an anchor point so I create my first uh, segment then I can see this big curve is probably again easier to divide into two so I click somewhere there in the middle drag out and then I click here drag and there's the half of the heart shape. So I am going to press escape because I finished drawing this. I can use the direct selection tool and select this point form, for example, and just make a little tiny adjustment there just to make it more smoother. And I can select the whole stroke and change the alignment to set it to probably center line. Yeah, that looks much better. So we have half of the heart shape so how can we duplicate this how can we turn it on the other side it can be done in uh, several ways uh, one of the ways is just simply to select the whole path so with the path selection tool and then alt click and drag maybe even hold down shift to keep it in the same position and once we have uh, the second version we can go to edit transform path and choose flip horizontal then I can use the path selection tool and move it in the middle and when I let go it's already created a path now if you want to be accurate we can just come here at the bottom and use the direct selection tool and make sure that these two points are joined here Again, this is something that will be much easier to do in Illustrator, but here in Photoshop, all I need to do is probably select the two paths and change the alignment. I think inside will work better, yes. So now if I zoom closer, you can see it looks much better here at the bottom and on the top as well. The good thing is that both of the paths are in the sh same shape. So if I move them separately, I can break the heart into two or I can move it back into one. So that is how you do a symmetrical shape in Photoshop. Let me show you how we can do this in Illustrator. So I'm going to do the same thing. I just drag and drop the heart into Illustrator. And again, I just turn this layer into, I just create a new layer, double click and turn it into a template just to be able to draw over it. And then I am going to do the same thing, view, rulers, show rulers, and drag a guide out. I just need a separate layer. Drag the guide out and place it here in the middle. So that will be our center point. And uh, then use the pen tool and start drawing. Do the same thing, click and drag, and uh, click and drag. And then I, I might do it a little bit differently now, just a little bit more points, but it's the same thing. I will click and drag there as well. Uh, it's not as good as how I did it in Photoshop. I just align these points a little bit around. Probably something like that will be fine. Yeah, that looks okay. Let's just change the size of this um, stroke a bit. The stroke size is too big. 
I'm going to use uh, three three points will be fine okay so that looks okay and now I turn off the template layer I don't need to see that anymore and I just would like to have this turn on the other side if I want to see white background I can select the artboard tool and just draw an artboard for our, us yeah, it's a bit better now so we have this shape ready here and again what we need to do is first of all duplicate this so I can press command C and then command F that's edit paste in front which will paste the path in the same position and then we can select the reflect tool which is the keyboard shortcut is O first click somewhere on the guide which is the center point and then click and drag the shape onto the right side and if you hold down shift it will snap into uh, the symmetry point and we have almost exactly the same what we had in Photoshop now if we select these two uh, parts of the heart and we select the shape builder tool we can click in the middle and then join this into one shape but before we go to the next video I would like to show you a more advanced way to draw symmetrical shapes in Illustrator and I'm going to get rid of this heart and just simply use the pen tool and draw one line here um, then I select it I select the, uh, this path and I go to effect and choose distort and transform and choose transform so effect menu, distort, transform and then transform and then turn on preview first of all and turn on one copies so just type in one copies select this point here on the right so it's change the reference point to the one on the right and then choose a reflect X so now as you can see already we have the two paths so we have like a reflection on the right and if I click on OK, we can use now the direct selection tool or any of the tools. And whatever we do with this one on the left will happen automatically on the right because it's reflected. So as you can see, it works. If I move this down here and I press P and continue drawing this line, you will see that we can draw symmetrical now. So everything what I do from this point on will be automatically reflected on the other side and just as before if I want to turn this into um, a shape I will need to use the shape builder tool but before I can use that I have to go to object expand appearance because uh, the transform is an appearance it's here I can turn it on and off in Illustrator we have the appearance panel for all the effects so I can go to object exp expand appearance and then select the shape builder tool and just make sure that these two parts are close enough to each other so let me just double click and move this to the left so I just move them closer to each other and then shape builder and click in between the two and now it's one shape so I can move it anywhere so that's a little bit more advanced feature in Illustrator for drawing symmetrical shapes but remember you can achieve this in many different ways